Hey guys, it's like the Wire 44 here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my prototype um, Freaky Geeks. Um, I have the Frankenstein Freaky Geek and the Skeletons. Both of these are prototypes. I'm going to be doing a comparison video of the produced versions, which is that one over there and that one over there. So I'm going to be doing a lot of jump cuts here. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating a lot of these, so get comfortable. I only have um, a set of batteries here, so alrighty, let's get into it. Okay guys, so starting off with the Frankensteins, um, the produced model has a very matte finish to it. You know, there's no um, like type of shininess like, like there is in this one. This one's very shiny. Um, this one's teeth over here, this is the produced model. This has um, white teeth versus this one has kind of a, they went for like a rotted look. Which I, I personally prefer this version better. Let me focus a little bit. There we go. Um, the chain design on the bottom. This one has silver chains on the produced one. And the prototype has gold chains. Pretty cool. Now this one I don't believe came with a prototype sticker. But you guys can obviously tell here that it is a prototype in fact. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and play him, and then I'll play him, so. Okay, so I did forget to mention, though, that on the produced version, there is a Jemmy logo. So this was the Walmart store's version, whereas this one is going to be blank. I'll show you that in a moment here. So as you guys can see here, this is the battery door to the prototype Freaky Geek. So this is the produced version and the non-produced version. Or this one wasn't signed off, I don't think yet. I'm not sure. So there's the Jimmy logo behind it there. This one does not have anything on it whatsoever. Just a neat little thing I'd rather point out. Okay guys, so here's the Freaky Geek's Frankenstein. As you guys can see, he's very glossy. Now this one, the eyes are, um, have different programming in them as well too. So instead of staying steady on certain parts of the song like he does, this one just blinks with the mouth movement. So whenever the mouth opens, the eyes will light up. And also too, in the beginning, there's no lights. Interesting. I'll go ahead and play it one more time for you. Okay guys, so moving on to the skeletons. Um, this is the official produced version of the Freaky Geeks that everybody sees. And this is the prototype. This one has yellow eyes with the black paint in the nose. 
This one just goes all green. Um, now this one does have a sticker on the side. It's a little tag. Item number 20735, Factory. Description, Funky Characters, Skeleton. Date 216 of 03. This was produced about a year before they were actually released. Now this one too, the mouth is a little clickier too. Versus this one. Just maybe the different materials that they may come out of. Um, now this is the Play That Funky Music White Boy version. So this is the version 2, I believe, of the Freaky Geeks. Um, not much else I can say about it. I'm going to jump cut and we'll demonstrate them for you. Okay guys, so here's the battery door for this guy. Um, this guy will not be having a battery door, but I'm assuming that it is similar to the Frankenstein version. Here's the Jimmy logo. This would be all blanked out on the prototype. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate him for you first. time. Yeah, so I'm going to jump cut, we're going to put some batteries in this guy and we'll show them to you. I do want to point out though that this has an on, off, and demo mode. Whereas this one, the demo portion is going to be scraped out as well. Okay, so here is the bottom of the prototype Freaky Geek skeleton. On, off, and then the demo would have been scraped out. So, I'm going to switch into the on position. So, I'm going to jump cut. one more time for you. jump cut and I'll show you guys the differences between the two. Okay guys, so here are the differences between the two Freaky Geeks skeletons. This is the produced version and this is the prototype again. Um, the prototype appears to have some kind of a plastic on the teeth. It's very plasticky, very lot, much louder than the other version. Which is this one is kind of like a rubbery kind of version of it. Um, not much else here. It's a little more realistic looking, like the feet and stuff are all kind of have like a yellow tint to it. You know, a little bit of dirt in the hands there. Not much else there. Again, here's the sticker, the item number. You guys can pause it if you guys want to check that out. Um, and not much else. This is the back of him. There's a little DC 6 volt plug, but I'm not going to use an adapter. Um, the bottom of does not appear to have any of those little felt pads on the bottom either. It's just plasticky. Me. Um, it's all scraped off over there. Not sure why that's like that. Um, 
Interestingly enough, this version was never signed off by the, Q, by the quality control person, which means that they had to make some changes. So I'm assuming probably to change the um, color scheme to this version instead of this one. Personally though, I do prefer this version better over the other one. But that's just my opinion or over the other one. But that's just my opinion. Um, what else? Not much else between the two other than just like their um, eye colors and stuff. That's probably about it. These ones had some more not noticeable differences though. This one has kind of a glossy finish. He doesn't. Now there's the gold chains versus the silver chains. I would have gone for the gold chains personally to be honest. Um, but they're all really great little characters. I love these freaky geeks. So, not much else I can say about these guys other than to, you know, thank you for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.